Welcome back to part five of Building Reputation, chapter four of A Thor Silent Blade Tale. When morning came, Thor's head ached and the blinding sun of the desert town caused searing pain. It was fortunate that they had at least a half day of travel to work off the hangover. Zarek, who had not fared much better with the wine the evening before, did not let the effect stop him from finding the trail they needed. Following the elf's guide, Thor kept the wagon steady and followed slowly along, more mindful of the road than the day before. By afternoon, they had reached the caves that Sheriff Dean had told them about. She had not had many details, other than rumors of the goblins being in these hills, but with any luck, they would find those beasts that had been terrorizing the locals. Hopping down from the cart and tying up the horses, Thor joined the others as they made the climb to the caves. The air inside the cabin was humid, a welcome, if stark, change from the dry desert air outside. The elf scouted ahead into the dark, Thora close behind. Clearly the goblins had no need for torches, as the entrance was pitch black. Thor's vision suddenly filled with color as a light sprang into existence from behind the soldier, revealing to Duane and Allendal their immediate surroundings. A dark cave, quite large, with rising walls on either side. In the chamber before them, a few rats scurried about. The bard stepped forward, shining light upon the cave, and attracted the attention of the small rodents. They swarmed upon him, obviously hungry for anything, even large dragonkin. The first one met its demise quickly as Allendale knocked it out. Thor surged forward, blades slashing silently at the rodents. The largest rat fell to the first swing, allowing the dwarf to sidestep to the bard's side and finish off the last of them. Glancing quickly around, Thor did not spy any other motion and moved slowly forward. The others fanned out, exploring the cavern before them. To their left stood a ladder, leading to an upper ledge. Ahead of them, Allendale's light illuminated a pile of rocks. Some sort of cave-in had happened, perhaps. Duane examined the blocked entrance, finding the outreached arm of a goblin sticking out from the rubble. The turtle began lifting rocks off, hoping to find a way through, while Zarek climbed the ladder to explore the ledge. Standing near the center of the room, Thora suddenly spied something off in the dark. To the dwarf's right, there was another raised ledge. Initially, when entering the room, Thora had not been able to see much, but from this angle, the soldier's eyes picked up a form lying in a corridor. It looked like a wolf, sleeping. Raising a hand to signal for silence, Thor hid behind a large stone, hoping not to attract attention. Allendale took the cue to slide to cover, taking the light further into the cavern, where Duane was still digging at the rock slide. By some stroke of luck, neither the light nor the sound of digging woke the sleeping sentry. As Zarek returned, Thor slid quietly over to the opposite ledge and grabbed the ladder. The dwarf moved awkwardly, attempting not to make noise while trying to carry the ladder to the opposite ledge. Somehow, the wolf stayed asleep. One by one, they crept slowly up the ladder, taking position to attack. It seemed there was at least one more sentry down the corridor, possibly a goblin. Duane his large turtle form and peg leg posing an obvious issue for stealth, somehow managed to move as silently as a mouse. When the wizard wanted to, he could practically disappear. Taking slow breaths, the group prepared to strike quickly 